What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back on the Dark Knight playthrough, walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I picked up some new gear. So like I said, this character is not super serious about having um, leveling up as we go. So I picked up this Yuria Kriegsmeister, uh, which is 48 to 53. The reason I picked it up mostly is because I got it for a fair... Why am I not on standby mode? Okay, there we go. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. All right. So I picked it up. Why am I not on standby mode? Oh my gosh, game. What is happening? There we go. Put that on. You can see it increases our AP from 56 to 86. And then I also picked up the Oros Ornamental Knot of Temptation. So this increases to 22. Um, it increases um, an AP against monsters, all AP up, which is nice. It was pretty decently expensive. It was like it was like 14 million or something is what I paid for it. But we'll go ahead and put that on, and that brings it up to 95. And now I can sell the Oros Ornamental Knot. Uh, I get a little bit of my money back. Um, so I'm going to set this down here so I don't accidentally sell it. Give our workers a little bit of beer. And it's time to start this episode. We'll, so we'll see how bad we destroy poor... Gaius. Check, make sure my TV volume on was, is off. I actually had it on for one of the episodes yesterday. I don't think any. I don't think you could hear it. It was quiet. It did. The mic didn't pick it up. It was quiet enough. The mic didn't pick it up, but it was on, which I was heavily surprised about. What is this? What is this camera angle? Am I gonna like three hit this dude? No, but oh my gosh. My poor, oh, my poor dude, Gaius, oh, just get absolutely destroyed. He didn't even, <laughs> if I wasn't messing around there, not like, if I would have comboed him, he would have not even changed forms. He wouldn't even have enough time to change forms. Oh my gosh, my poor dude, Gaius. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to buy gear for this character because I'm trying to get it to the end game. Uh, forgive me, I followed you because I was worried that creature that you defeated. I saw it in my nightmares about Grusha. Please don't think ill of him. He has dedicated himself entirely to this mission. He will come back to his senses soon enough. Um, flower blooming at the ruins. I can tell that Gaiath is not a goblin. He is very similar to the black energy I saw in my nightmare. Like Grusha, he's a human wearing a goblin's mask. I am in awe of how far someone is willing to go to protect something. It may be related to the vengeful spirit that I saw in my nightmare. Everything is starting to become clear. When I was a kid, I heard about a cave where a ghost would appear. Can you give me a hand? I am sure we can find some clues in that cave. Eileen says that only a medium can commune with spirits. Adventure, please help me. I need to get rid of my nightmare. There is a myth the ghosts of the people who used to live in the castle are still inhabiting this place on Iwas Hill. You can find a shining flower blooming or flower that rarely blooms. The ghosts of Crone Cave will respond to that flower. I'll be waiting for you at the hill near Crone Castle. Alright, so let's go pick up the flower. But yeah, I'm not like I don't know. I don't think at any point this game is like super difficult, except when you get late game. It gets a little bit difficult late game. But it's never, like, this nightmarishly difficult game. And so, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of fine just picking up gear now instead of just waiting forever and then picking it up. So, all right. Time to talk to good old Beetle. Oh, dear. You scared me. I thought my heart was going to leap out of my chest. What are you doing here? Ach, where did you get the that eerie-looking flower? Is that the flower Emma keeps talking about? The cave that Emma spoke of is oh, over there. Go down the cliff located to the east of Crone Castle. Are you skilled at hunting? All right. So we're at the Crone Castle portion of the game. So I did some farming on my main character last night. I'm going to do some more on my sorceress tonight. Actually having some really good fun with that. And that's the whole reason I was able to afford this, these weapons for this character. Is because I did farming on my sorceress. And because I did farming on my sorceress, I actually got a plus 14 weapon drop for um, um, for the... Was it for the... I think I got a plus 14 weapon for the uh, lawn, 
which I am playing Lon and I really like it, but on that character I am not spending my gold to upgrade. Um, we'll just kind of retroactively upgrade on that character, and if I want to buy a weapon I can buy it off the marketplace. Uh, but I'm not going to buy like crazy good stuff off the marketplace at the start. Uh, I was waiting for you, Ashen One Cirilla. Ah, the flower is trembling. It must be reacting to something. It was somewhere nearby. Uh, when I was a kid, my grandfather used to talk about this cave. Please take the lead, if you don't mind. I'll be right behind you. I want to get to the bottom of this nightmare. Alright, so... Just head on over here, and into the cave we go. Alright. Emma... The ghost, a child? The ghost is looking for a child? Look, Sorella, the ghost is reacting to the wildflower. The cause of Crone Castle's ruin is still unknown to me. My grandfather seems to know something, but he never shares anything with me because he thinks I'm too young. There should, however, be some records about those events in the castle ruins. Beedle has been spying on the occupying forces, and he's convinced that the commander of Crone Castle has the records on his person. Please infiltrate their encampment and get those records. I'll be waiting at the entrance to Crone Castle. All right, so let's go burn some tents and recover the documents from the commander. I I still, this mission just, I don't know, this mission doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, just simply because I'm like, well, um, okay, these are not the ones I need to burn. Let's go back around here. Um... Why is the commander just walking around with these documents on him? It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, it makes a little bit of sense, but you're just telling me the commander carries these documents on him 24-7, 365? Like, I feel like you keep those things in, like, a safe or, like, you know, anywhere but here. Alright, burn the tent. I still don't. That's another part of this little mission here that I just don't get. Why are we burning the tent? What is the point of that? Alright, give me the document. Hey, buddy, give me the document. You don't even have to... It's such a weird quest. This is the weirdest quest in the entire game. It doesn't make any sense to me. You walk up and you pickpocket a guy that can clearly see you. Like, there, there is no question that he could see you there. It's just a big old they don't care. All right. Back to good old Emma. Ah, yes, those explosions caused by the forbidden alchemy. If there was anyone who would know, it's the person next to me. Uh, my grandfather's friend, Alustin, has twin daughters. People prefer Clorence more as she's very calm and smart, but I'm personally a lot closer to Eileen. She always worries about me because of my nightmares. She even risked her life to come all the way out here with me for support. I think it would be all right to show the records to Eileen. All right, Eileen. Oh, hello. I followed you here because I was worried about Emma. Hee hee hee. I'm glad to know that Emma is doing fine. Ah, it's the Lost Records of Crone. Wow, it's my first time seeing such a thing. Well, of course, I've seen books about it in my father's study. Give it to me. I might figure something out if I look at it closely. Hmm. Oh, I can't believe it. Even my father might have never seen this. This record has obviously spent a great deal of time locked away in some dusty archives, which leads me to wonder why on earth is the castle commander carrying it around? And you you say the crone castle commander was holding on to this? My goodness, what was he planning on doing with it? It wasn't always like this. The crone kingdom and all of its people burned to ashes due to the greed of a few individuals who began to practice forbidden alchemy. They were here one second and gone the next, and none... And no one ever sought to ease their pain. This is why they have appeared before Emma, who is herself of the Chrome Bud line. They are desperately crying out for help, and we must answer them. Just reading this record sends ch a chill down my spine. This was the, uh, the mistakes of the past. Will people ever learn? Phew. Give me a moment to calm myself. Right. We need to find a way to ease the suffering of Chrome Castle's tragic victims. Their spirits are clearly full of spite, which might explain Emma's nightmares. I do know of one ritual that should comfort those lost souls. Let me have a quick look at my bag. I'll add some of this, a pinch of that, just to adjust the ratio, and voila! 
Please recite the ritual in the scroll at the highest point of Crone Castle. It should calm the vengeful souls. You wish to know how to get to the top? Don't worry, Beetle will take you there. All right, Beetle. Oh, actually, I don't have to talk to Beetle. All right, let's go. I know how to get there without talking to good old Beetle. I know you have to talk to him at the top of this here, because if you don't talk to him, it doesn't progress the quest. Getting caught on rocks. All right, up the ladder we go. All right, Beetle. That's it. Now follow me. Okay, Beetle. Only you don't lead. You just stand there until I run off. All right. Up we go. This portion of the game was kind of the first little bit of a skill gap. I know it's not like a heavy skill gap, but this was kind of the first little bit of a skill gap in the game. Or not skill gap, skill barrier in the game. It's not a big one, but these were the first kind of tough enemies. So we arrived at Crone Castle Altar, found a strange device in the shape of an orb. The power resonating within the orb seems to be linked to the top of the spire. Obviously, we want to go to the top of the spire. This is one of the, I don't know, this is one of the weirder parts of this game. Uh, this whole mission is just a little bit weird. Turn my face cam a little bit here. Let me turn it just one more little bit there. All right. I looked over. I have to move where my physics cam sits. It sits on top of my HD PVR. And so every time if I plug in my PS4 or whatever, which I did for MLB The Show, um, yeah, it. I have to replug it. All right. So scroll of Crone Remembrance. Did I pick up? Hold on. I want to see if I picked up rings. I forgot if I did or not. Is this camera angle okay did i these are better stuff right yeah i got the dobart stuff the briar helmet's kind of trash but i did get rings and stuff okay good it feels as if the angry spirits have finally found peace you can sense the spite of the spirits dissipate as they find peace and comfort spirits send their warm regards for your help however there are still pockets of darkness you sense from the vengeful spirits of old crone Oh, yeah, it's teleporting. Is it teleporting me back down? I always forget. Uh, no. No. Uh, oh, yeah, it does. Okay, I was going to say, I thought, for a second, I thought it left you there, but then I was like, eh, no. I think it actually, I think it actually teleports you out. I forgot if it was a loading thing. Uh, Where is B? Oh. Isn't Beetle up here? Well, I don't know where Beetle is now. Because usually... Beetle... Initially, he's hiding... He... Er, it, uh, at the beginning of this game, before they adjust the quest a little bit, he used to just be standing right here. Oh, which he is just standing right here. There's just no marker over his head. Oh, where have you been? I thought I was stuck in this castle alone. Guess I shouldn't have hoped that I'd get out of this place in one piece. Uh, we should find a way uh, out this instant. Why are you looking at me like that? Hurry up and lead the way, or else I'll have to find my own way out. Okay, summon the black spirit. Hee <laughs> hee There was an explosion long ago at Crone Castle. Does this dark energy really look like the vengeance of those spirits? Now take a look at these shiny stones. Don't they feel similar to the dark energy found in Crone Castle? Hee hee hee. Don't worry. This stone is some th uh, something that will help us. Can't you feel the awesome power that are the powers that are hidden within it? You can use them whenever you want to. Hee hee hee. This that is what. Uh, oh my gosh! I can't read. That is whenever you feel like you need to become stronger. I literally sometimes just cannot read. It's tragic. All right. To get started, I need to talk to Beetle. Yeah, I think I need to talk. Come here, Beetle. Vengeance by proxy. Oh, my butt. Do you have any idea what I went through after you disappeared? Oh, they shot their arrows at my butt. All right. 
vengeance by proxy. Wait, finding a way out. Hello? Oh, here we. Okay, that's weird. Accept that get or accept that quest. Don't forget, you can use the stone to get stronger. Okay, it's just talking about the stones again. I guess I just didn't accept the quest. Okay, so we need to secure a route by killing four, six people. That we definitely one shot because I'm overpowered. I can't even like practice combos on these guys because they're like just solo by themselves. They're just steady chilling here. Hold on, let me go kill. Let me go kill one more of these guys over here. I need to kill bow guys, but there's like no bow guys. Almost just killed myself. That would have been full on tragedy. All right, let's go back to Beetle here. All right, Beetle. Are you tired already? You need to keep your head straight. This is only the beginning. Oh crap, I hit. Be careful with veteran and rookie soldiers. We gotta kill veteran and rookie soldiers. Accidentally double hit A. We all know this quest. Oh, it's the scout the scouts are the one with the bows, right? Yeah. There's another scout up here. Come here, bow guy. I need to kill. I am gonna grind this out until I get a bow guy because I might as well complete that quest. We're three out of five. There's that. Okay, now it just wants us to get out, but I want to find bow guys because I think that is... I might as well complete that quest. Well, I haven't S-ranked these guys yet. I need to S-rank people so that I can, I don't know, have the bonuses for S-ranking stuff. How are there no bow pe- oh, there we go. Be free! I need to kill one more dude with a bow. Neither of you have a bow, but whatever. Hello? Some oh, here we go. Guy with a bow. Let's go. Alright, now we can turn that quest in as well. I don't even know if I ever took that quest before. I don't think I have ever taken that quest before. Alright, beetle. Phew. Amazing. Just amazing. You never fail to impress me. I've never seen them get so scared. You never fail to improve. Okay, it, it just sounds weird in my hell. Grab that, finish that quest, finish that quest. The return. Emma heard that we were safe and sound and uh, returned to town to wait for us. We should go back. You've done what no one else could. Hold your head up high. This is something to be proud of. Have you discovered Awa's cave? This place All right, so now we need to go back to town. I wish every character had the uh, that ability that Lon has, because that just makes it really fun to go around, and you can upgrade that thing. It's just too much fun. It's got to be like my favorite ability, because as you upgrade that bad boy, as you upgrade that bad boy, it uh it goes farther, which is crazy, because it already feels like it goes really far, and if you can upgrade it and make it go even farther. Just way too nice. All right, Emma. You are, you've arrived safely. Good. Very good. I can't possibly thank you enough. My grandfather wishes to meet you and thank you personally. As a descendant of the Bartali family, I must return to the farm. But I do hope we can see each other again. All right, Igor. I could tell from your eyes that you were not like other adventurers, but I never dreamed you would do so much for our family. On behalf of the Bartali family, I would like to sincerely thank you for everything you've done. I know it is not much, but please accept this as a small token of my gratitude. My horse, my greatest companion, 
gave birth in recent years. The newborn is grown and in great health. I would like you to have it. I'll assist you in your future adventures. I'm going to take the chestnut one. A loyal companion. What's the rush? You're welcome to stay as long as you want. I see. Did you decide where to go next? If you're looking for a bigger town, you should go to Heidel, the captain, the capital of Serendia. Also, Lord Damon got resides in Heidel. Ah, I suggest you stop by the stable before you set out on your journey. I'll personally request the stable keeper to provide you with whatever you need. All right, so... I mean, we can go talk to the stable keeper in this episode, but I think this is a pretty good place to call it, because um, we're going to have to travel here soon. Hey, look who's here, the hero of Velia who defeated the goblins. I'm honored to have you in my stable. Follow the road leading to the Heidel Gateway, and then travel south. There you'll meet a friend of mine called Kirkley. He's a good lad. He'll keep you, he'll, uh, he'll help you with the rest of your journey. But be sure to feed your horse a carrot or two, otherwise it'll collapse from exhaustion. Haha, <laughs> you wouldn't want that. No, I would not. But uh, that is a good place to call it, because now we have to run, and... Uh, Obviously, no one wants to watch me run down to Heidel Pass. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have and not. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.